friends, it's Anna here today, and today we're going to be sewing up the kids party skirt. This skirt has got two tiers, a top tier and then a little cute bottom tier. It's got um, a either knit or woven waistband and it's got a little tie at the front. Um, it's super cute and I think you're going to love how easy it is to sew it up. So let's do it. <laughs> All right, let's get started. I've got my underskirt, so two of those. I've got my top skirt, two of those as well. I'm going with a Christmassy theme. And then I've got my uh, waistband. I'm doing the woven waistband. And I got my two um, sashes on here. So I'm gonna put those aside and we're gonna start with the skirts. So the first thing you want to do is either you want to finish those raw edges of your uh, of your panels if you want to do that or what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sew them together first and then search the raw edge afterwards. So either one of those is fine depending on what you want to do, what you would like to do. Um, so we're going to grab our fabric of our skirts and we're going to put them right sides together at the short raw edge and sew. Like I said, I'm going to do first a straight stitch with my sewing machine and then I will um, sew the finish the raw edge with my serger or you can finish it with a zigzag stitch or whatever. And if your fabric doesn't fry, then you can just leave it. And we're doing the same thing with our um, top skirt. Now remember, if you do have a directional pattern, make sure that you, uh, fabric pattern, make sure that you line it up correctly. You don't want an upside down skirt. All right, now that I'm here at my serger, I'm also going to finish up the bottom raw edge. So that way, I, when I hem, I'm just gonna fold up. But if you wanna do the fold up, fold up method, you don't have to uh, finish your raw edge. I just find this to be easier. All right, now to work on the hem. So I finished that raw edge. So now if you want a narrow hem, you can just do a quarter inch and leave it. Or if you want to get rid and hide those, you can go up another quarter inch and then hide that. I'm going a half an inch up because I want it to be a thicker hem. And there it is. So you could either just go ahead and go like a whole half inch and just leave it raw here. Um, and if you don't mind th seeing that, so I might just do that because it doesn't really matter to me if you can see um, that on the inside. Eh, maybe I will, I don't know. I'll do the double fold, okay, okay. All right, I'm gonna do the same for the um, underskirt. Now, if you're making the sash, I'm going to fold it right sides together. I'm gonna go ahead and do this at the same time because I'm going over to my sewing machine and I've got this my iron here hot so I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. I'm gonna fold it wrong, right sides together I'm sorry and we're gonna sew along that outer edge. Starting here and going all the way across that edge. Alrighty, for my sashes, I'm gonna go ahead and trim that extra allowance that ended up here at the corners, and then we'll turn it and um, steam it, and then we'll end up top stitching it as well. Now that they've turned around and everything, I'm gonna go ahead and top stitch them all the way around. When that little tip gets stuck, I like to use a pin, a pin, and kind of grab the edge of it and help it move. Let me lift that foot. Grab the edge of it, and then kind of pull it as it goes to get it started. All right, so now we have our waistband, and we're gonna grab our waistband and we're gonna fold it wrong sides together and give it a memory crease. Now, if you're sewing um, straps, and if you're sewing the little um, sashes, you're gonna grab one of your bands, you're gonna open it up the front side, and we're gonna grab our band or sash, and make sure that these are pointing um, like however you want them to point um, to the different directions. One is gonna go on one side, 
and you should have a, a quarter inch seam allowance here at the bottom. So we're gonna place that there with a quarter inch seam allowance leaving at the bottom. And then the other one on the other side, same thing. Then you're gonna have, you're gonna grab your other waistband and you're gonna place it right on top and sandwich that um, sash in there. If you wanted to go ahead and baste that sash on first and then sew this on, you can do that. I'm just gonna do it all at the same time. All right, we're gonna go ahead also and prep our skirt. And we do have the two sides already, so I'm just gonna mark my match those two sides and mark my front and back. You can mark it however you wanna mark it. I'm just gonna do a little notch. You can mark it with um, water-soluble pen, uh, chalk, pins, clips, however you want to mark it. And I'm going to do the same for the top layer, top layer and bottom layer skirt. Now they're both right side out and I'm going to grab my top layer and put it right, fit it right over my under layer. I'm going to match up those uh, spots that we marked at that top raw edge. And then I'm gonna go in and put in a gathering stitch because I'm going to gather the skirt here at the waist. Um, I'm gonna do two rows of basting stitches is how I'm going to end up gathering that. So I'm gonna go over there and put two rows of basting stitches. So I wanted to do both of these things at the same time because I'm gonna be over there at my saw machine. Then when we come back, we'll be able to attach the waistband on and that's about it. One row, I'm gonna leave a long strand and then start the second row. Alrighty, so now our band, we're going to fold it along that crease again and it shall be completed. And all we gotta do now is we're gonna attach it to our skirt. So I'm gonna match up again for the waistband. I'm gonna go ahead and do my quarters so I know exactly where my fronts and everything is so I can match it up to my skirt. And I'm going to place my waistband right there. It's ready to be attached. And remember, you have that allowance right here at the bottom. That was for attaching. I'm gonna grab my skirt and I'm going to um, gather those basting stitches, gather the skirt to fit my waistband. I pull on, what I like to pull on is my bobbin thread. And we're just gonna pull both of those um, down to gather and I like to pull and gather one side and then pull and gather the other side going the other way. Sometimes when I'm done gathering I like to put a little knot on there so that way they don't um, come unraveled, ungathered as I'm getting ready to sew them. All right once you've gathered it all just make sure that your sides are even and then we're going to attach them to the waistband by matching those points that you created earlier and sewing that top raw edge of the waistband and the um, skirt together. Make sure not to get your sash cut in there. Move it out of the way. You're gonna be doing your quarter inch seam allowance. Make sure that the right side where the, waist, where the um, sash is is touching the skirt. So that's where it needs to be sewn. I'm going to first sew it on my sewing machine and then I'm gonna go reinforce it on my serger. And I'm going to leave a gap here in the back um, to insert my elastic. So I'm gonna leave like a two inch gap here um, where I don't close it all the way. And then I'll insert my elastic, sew that on, and then close that gap. All right, so I decided to actually go ahead and insert my elastic first before I serge that closed, because then when I serge it closed, I'll be able to also um, close that gap that I left to insert my elastic. Where did I leave it? Here it is. Um, so I'm gonna go in with my elastic. The sizing for elastic is on your chart, on your um, skirt, uh, out under skirt um, pattern piece. So you can look that up on there and see what size elastic you need. So now I'm just using a safety pin and inserting that elastic through all the way around. Okay, once it comes all the way through, we're gonna go ahead and zigzag stitch some, sewn them together, zigzag stitch overlap, zigzag stitch there, and then I'm gonna close that gap 
and serge all that together and we'll be done. Make sure when you're sewing it together you don't catch the straps or any other part of the fabric. All right, so now that's been sewn and we are finished. Now I just need to pick all the um, basting stitches off um, and we are done with our cute little skirt. This is so fun. Now, if the sash, when you're wearing, when, you know, your little one is wearing it, um, keeps riding up away from the elastic, there could be a couple of reasons for that. Number one could be that your elastic is not tight enough. Um, so you may want to measure their waist and tighten the, the elastic a little bit or go by their waist measurement, um, go down a couple inches by the waist measurement. Um, or you could, if you don't want to mess with it, if you don't want them to have to mess with it, you could tie your bow and just hand stitch it on so it doesn't move. Um, it is up to you um, on that. But, oh my word, this is super, super adorable. And it was so easy to sew up. All right, friends, we are finished. I still need to pick all these uh uh, stitches off the basting stitches, but how adorable did this skirt turn out? I love it. I love the bow. I love that it's got the two tiers. I think this would look super cute too. Um, if you wanted to add like a little ruffle at the bottom, like a you know like some kind of different like lace or something uh, for the under layer. Um, I think it's, it's adorable. I hope you love it as much as I do. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please come and like, share, subscribe if you haven't, so you never miss any for other tutorials. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you next time. Bye!